Hello everyone and welcome to the Canvas demo video here. We're going to show you how to use Canvas and how to get the best out of it. So for this, we're going to use an example to create your own employee quotes. This is really useful for employee engagement and for internal common strategies. So to find Canvas, what you're going to do is you're going to head over to Studio on the screen cloud and go to the Apps section here. And then you're going to go and search for Canvas. But as you can see, Canvas comes up at the top, so you can just select Canvas app. And what we're going to do is we're going to install this app and create a new version. So once you've got that, you want to rename this. So I'm actually going to rename it Employee Quote just so it's easier to find um, for the future. So after I've done that, I want to create a background. So you have two choices. You can either use a color for the background using the color palette, or you can use an image. For this, I'm actually going to use an image. So I'm going to select to use image, use a media picker, and I'm going to upload an image from my desktop. I'm going to find this one, the office background. I'm going to upload that and then I'm going to add that to the canvas. As you can see, it automatically fills the uh, dimensions of your canvas. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a shape. So we have lots of different shapes on offer. We have circles, rectangles, squares. Uh, for this one, I'm actually going to use a rectangle and I'm just going to drag this over here and then I'm going to reposition and resize the rectangle. As you can see, it's very easy to do. I'm just going to resize that. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to change the color of this. So you can change the color of all our shapes. So at the moment it's orange. I'm just going to go over here, select that, and I'm going to change it to a nice purple. I think a nice light purple. So now that I've done that, I want to actually add some text. So what you do is you go over here and select the text button, and then you drag the text to where you want it to be on your canvas. So I'm just going to select here. Uh, I'm actually going to paste in some text that I've saved from earlier. So that's my employee quote there. So again, you can reposition this um, and you can resize it just quite easily um, from this. So what you can do is you can highlight the text and you can resize from the panel on the side here if you want, or you can actually resize it from the kind of text box itself uh, very easily, as you can see here, just to make it a little bit big or smaller, depending on what you want. So now that I have the size that works for me, I want to actually change the color of the text, which is really easy. You just highlight the text and you select the text color here. Same palette, so I'm going to make it white. And then I'm going to change the alignment, so I actually want all the text to be aligned. And then we can support different fonts as well. So as you can see, it's very easy to change the fonts, but I'm actually going to select this one because this works best for me and my brand. If you want to get this text again, um, you can actually copy and paste it using the controls on your keyboard, or you can just click the, click the duplicate button here, and then you've got the text again. It just makes it easy, just so you don't have to redo everything. So I'm just going to resize this and reposition this text to how I want. And what we're going to use this for is this is actually what we're going to use for the employee. So this is the employee that's given the quote. So I'm just going to type out her name here. Now, now I've done that, I just actually want to align it to the left, and then I'm just going to reposition this to how I want it to be. Now that I've done that, I want to add an image. So you go over here, select the image from the image tab. Again, it's going to go through the media picker, so I'm going to upload it again from my desktop. So Sarah, it's going to open that. And what's really cool about this is you can actually edit the image before it goes into the canvas. So you select edit, and you've got different options like rotate, circle, crop. So I'm actually going to use a circle crop. And then I'm going to position that just over here. And then click Save. And then what I'm going to do is that crops the image as a circle. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to upload this to the Canvas board and add it here. Now that's done, I'm just going to resize this and reposition it. Again, like all our text and blocks, you can very easily resize. I'm just going to do that now. Just make it a bit smaller. And you'll start to see these red lines. And what those red lines are, they are snap to grid lines. They are guidelines that help you position your text and your images and your blocks just how you want. So it all nicely lines up and just makes it really look professional. Now that's all done. You have a choice. You can either preview this design or you can actually go ahead and save it. And then after you've saved it, again, you can get this added to your screens, uh, playlists, channels, 
whatever you want to do with it. So that's all done. That's all saved. Thanks so much for watching. Give Canvas app a try today at studio.screencloud.com.